Welcome dear students to Summit for Max. In this video we are going to discuss on the topic basic concepts of permutations and combinations exercise 5b question number 8 to 14. Let's discuss question number 8. Mr. X and Mr. Y enter into a railway compartment having 6 vacant seats. The number of ways in which they can occupy the seats is. Here we are given that there are six seats in the compartment. So let us mark the six positions of which two are occupied by Mr. X and Mr. Y. So six positions and two person. So six P2 which is equal to six into five. So 30 is the answer. Option D is the answer. Now let's discuss question number 9. The number of numbers lying between 100 and 1000 can be formed with the digits 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7 is. The numbers lying between 100 and 1000 is a 3 digit number. So let us mark them as 100's place, 10's place and 1's place. We have the numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7. Let's assume that there is no repetition of the digits here. So we have 7 numbers for 3 positions. So 7P3 is the total number of arrangements which is possible. Which is equal to 7 into 6 into 5. 7, 6, 42 into 5 which is 210. Option A is the answer. Let's discuss question number 10. The number of numbers lying between 10 and 1000 can be formed with the digits 2, 3, 4, 0, 8 and 9 is. Numbers lying between 10 and 1000 are either 2 digit or a 3 digit number. Now let's discuss the number of ways a 2 digit number can be formed using these digits. Here we have 0 which cannot occupy the tens place because if we have 0 in the tens place, it will be considered as a single digit number. So, you cannot place 0 in tens position. So, the rest of the numbers can occupy the tens position. So, we have 5 numbers excluding 0. Therefore, the arrangement can be 5p1 ways. Now, in 1's position, we can have 0. So, including 0 and excluding the number that has been placed in 10's position. Let us assume that 2 is placed in 10's position. We will have 5 digits again. The arrangement can be 5P1 again. In the ones position. So the total number of ways is equal to 5 into 5 which is equal to 25. Now let's discuss the number of possibilities in a three digit number. We have three positions hundreds, tens and ones. And in 100th position, we cannot have 0 because if we place 0 in the 100th position, then the number is considered as a 2-digit number. So, except 0, we can place all the other numbers 2, 3, 4, 8 and 9. So, 5 numbers for 1 position. So, 5p1 ways. 
the arrangement is 5p1 we have two more positions tens and ones and five digits including zero and excluding the number that has been placed in hundredth position for example let us consider that we have placed two in hundredth position excluding that we have three four zero eight and nine so five numbers for two positions so 5p2 is the number of arrangements therefore total number of three digit numbers that can be formed is 5 into 5 into 4 for 5p2 the total is 100 now the total number of numbers lying between 10 and 1000 can be 100 plus 25 which is equal to 125. Let's discuss question number 11 now. In a group of boys, the number of arrangements of 4 boys is 12 times the number of arrangements of 2 boys. The number of boys in the group is. Let us assume that the number of boys is n so it's given that number of arrangement of four boys so which is n p 4 is equal to 12 times the number of arrangements of two boys which is n p 2 n p 4 can be written as n into n minus 1 into n minus 2 into n minus 3 is equal to 12 into n into n minus 1 for n p 2. Now cancelling n into n minus 1 on both sides we have n minus 2 into n minus 3 on the left side which is equal to n squared minus 5n plus 6 is equal to 12. Let's reduce this equation into a quadratic equation that is n squared minus 5n minus 6 is equal to 0. Bringing 12 from the left side to right side we get this equation. After simplification, let's factorize. The factors are n minus 6 and n plus 1 is equal to 0. So n can either be 6 or minus 1. But negative value cannot be considered because n represents the number of boys. So we need not consider the negative value. Therefore, n is equal to 6 is the answer. Option C. Now, let's discuss question number 12. The value of summation r is equal to 1 to 10 r into r p r s. There is a shortcut formula for this. Summation r is equal to a to B R times R P R is equal to B plus 1 factorial minus A factorial. So using this formula we can find out the answer for this question. Here R ranges from 1 to 10 which implies A is equal to 1 and B is equal to 10. R into RPR is equal to 10 plus 1 factorial minus 1 factorial which is 11 factorial minus 1. 
11 factorial can be written as 11 p 11 So, 11 p 11 minus 1 is the answer, which is option B. Let's discuss question number 13. The total number of 9 digit numbers of different digits is. So, we have 9 positions. And the digits are said to be different. So it can be either 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 or 0 cannot occupy the first position. So rest of the numbers can occupy that position in 9p1 ways. Other than the first position, we have 8 more positions which can be occupied by again 9 numbers including 0 in this case. So, we are including 0 in this case and excluding the number that has been already placed in the first position. For example, let us consider that we have placed 1 in the first position. So, excluding that number, we have 9 more digits and 8 positions. So, it can be arranged in 9p8 ways. Now, let us calculate this value. 9p1 is 9 and 9p8 is, we know that the formula for npr is n factorial by n minus r factorial. In this case, 9 factorial by 9 minus 8 is 1 factorial. So, we get the answer as 9 into 9 factorial by 1 factorial. So, the option is C. Now, let's discuss question number 14. The number of ways in which 6 men can be arranged in a row so that the particular 3 men sit together is. Here, let us assume that 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6 are the 6 men and of them, 1, 2 and 3 are the 3 men always sitting together. So, they can be considered as a single group and others are considered as separate groups. So, we have altogether 4 groups. So, they can be arranged in 4 factorial ways or 4 P4 ways. Now, let's discuss about the group 1, 2, 3. They can sit within themselves in 3 factorial ways, which is 3P3. Therefore, the total number of arrangements can be 4P4 into 3P3. The option is B. Hope you enjoyed this session. For much more, Please subscribe to the channel Summit for Max. Thanks for watching.